pleased to be here and, and to talk to you, not right after lunch, but just a little bit later. Um, so as I go through this presentation, I'd like you to ask yourselves, if you're in manufacturing, if you're in some other kind of industry or, or commercial application, what is the thing that you can do the fastest with, with the highest impact on your operation and your business that has to do with IoT? And so, spoiler alert, the answer is machine health. I'll go into that and I'll tell you exactly how we do it, as well as how uh, an industry, specific industry, does it together with us. So we are a technology company with a deep appreciation for manufacturing, maintenance and reliability, as well as operations and supply chain. And so we have a simple but very ambitious vision and mission is really to create a world where machines don't break. And specifically machines that matter for people don't break. And we are uh, doing this because we realize that for manufacturing specifically, this is a huge problem. Probably one of, one of the biggest single computer, uh, com contributors to loss of productivity in manufacturers, manufacturing is machine health. And about 10% of all productivity loss is attributed to machine health issues. And today we're blind to them, but we don't have to be. And so we work with a number of different segments and industries in order to really solve this problem. So we have customers across CPG applications, we have customers across food and beverage, other types of packaging, extrusion processes, metals, plastics, um, as well as commercial customers, HVAC, rotating equipment. Uh, and we also work with OEMs that produce this equipment to embed our technology into the machines that will be produced in the future. So we're working across the industry, mostly uh, within continuous processes, production lines, as well as utility equipment. So machine health is the foundation of three things. It's the foundation of plant health, of business health, as well as digital transformation. And I'll explain how that works. So for a plant, and I'm, this is a big slide, but the idea here is that when we look at machine health, individual machines, we usually focus on the lower left side of the slide, which is production line level costs, repair and replacement costs, breakdown, reduction. But there are higher order costs as we go up at the plant level and then to the company level. We're talking about supply chain disruptions, product loss. We're talking about not being able to meet our contracts. And we're talking about, and this is something that a lot of people also don't think about, is that a well-maintained and operating plant also has higher morale. And we see this across some cutting edge manufacturers that we work with, is that they're starting to introduce gamification into the teams that work the production floor maintenance. We're starting to see breakdowns of silos between reliability, maintenance, and operations. They're all looking at the same thing, um, and that's enabled by a technology like ours where you have a single source of truth, and so they all gather up across, you know, going down from the production level to the VP looking at the same exact thing, the same source of truth. And then of course at the company level cost, you have risk. And that risk is tremendous for a manufacturer that are sp you know, specifically they're focused on cutting costs, but uh, you know, a risk event is huge. When we talk about digital transformation and, and business health and digital transformation are closely related, we're all thinking about how to actually solve this problem. So we have cost pressure and legacy production lines, equipment, and, and software, and then we need to transform and become more agile. How do we actually do that? So we may think about, for manufacturers specifically, or asset-heavy industries, the assets are the biggest legacy that we have, so the assets are not born digital, but also the people in the workforce are not born digital. So we have to transform both, and the benefits to maintenance, asset utilization, labor, and inventories are all significantly impacted by machine health. So when you think about digital transformation, you start with machine health. And you know, you know, to paint a roadmap of how this is done, if you think about digital transformation, you want to digitize your processes. If you think about manufacturing, straight in, straight in the middle of the supply chain, and then digital machine health and performance across the different parameters of OEE, predictive maintenance, uh, condition monitoring, you know, smart connected operations and so forth, all that is covered out of the box by Augury with time to value that's sometimes three to six months. So 
And that's really where we fit, or digital machine health fits into uh, digitization strategy. How is it different from what's done before? It's enabled by three things. First of all, it's real time and continuous. There's a huge difference between non real time, non continuous, not just data, but insights, and real time continuous data and insights. And the second one is it's driven, of course, by IoT age technologies. But what's important here is not, it's not just you know, how we gather and process data. It, it's really what is the level of insights and intelligence that we're imparting on our machines to be able to tell us what's wrong with them. And the last one, you need a single source of truth. And that single source of truth is where we start with machine health, digital machine health, um, where machines uh, across the board, across different brands, names, different operational capacities, different environments, have a single source of truth on how they're operating. And so what we see across the industry, and this is where we take our partners and customers, is from this world on the left side, where they are, are either reactive, they're preventive, or they're pre starting to be predictive, into the right side of the equation, where all of a sudden they leapfrog technologically and go immediately to this place of digital machine health and performance. And so there's a lot of work that is done in order to manage change and enable people to actually understand what's, what's happening. But if you present it in a very simple manner and you work with the people on the plant floor, then they're still reactive. They're just reacting to the right thing. And so this is where we come in. Um, and the next step from there is digital machine performance, where we start connecting the health components, right, that single source of truth, to the way the machine actually operates, the way production, the production line operates, and then we're merging the business outcomes together with digital machine health. All of a sudden, you have a real-time insight into the way your manufacturing operation can operate. You can become more agile. For instance, you can decide to shut down a facility or not to build a facility if you can increase the OEE across 10 other facilities that you have. So that's agility and digital machine performance. And so what do we actually do? in terms of our product and our solutions, we uncover blind spots. And so we have built over the last seven years a way to connect machines, to diagnose the data automatically, and then to provide insights, and not just data-driven insights that the data scientist needs to be in the picture in order to analyze, but the plant floor operator level, exactly what's wrong with your machine at a component level, why is it happening, so root cause analysis, and then when and exactly how to fix it. And, so, and we do all of this as a service. So we don't sell separate parts, it's all delivered as a service per machine, per year basis. And so it's, it's it very easy uh, to implement. And we see that implementation kind of, the, the timeline going down from a few months to weeks. So here's an example of a beverage production facility. And in these industries, again, CPG, beverage, pharmaceuticals, chemicals, and others, we cover both the production line, the very, very uh, heavy industries on rotating assets, and the utility side. So typically, we see you know, between 100 and 200 different pieces of equipment on the production line, a few hundred of pieces of equipment across the utility side. And this is typically what the installation looks like. We have developed our own hardware in order to solve the data acquisition problem. So we don't have to worry about that. Um, and so we have sensors that combine different sensing capabilities that give really early indica indicators, really the earliest physical indication of machine malfunctions, that allow us to see inside the machine. So we use vibration. And then we also use temperature. We also use um, uh, ultrasound. We also use magnetic field analysis kind of pioneering that, that area. And so in terms of sensing, we gather all the data at the highest possible uh, quality. So when that's done, the machines are being constantly monitored. That goes up to the cloud. And then our algorithms get to work and then provide results. Here are some additional applications. How do we actually diagnose the machines? Um, you can imagine this is a difficult problem to solve, providing you know, near real-time insight. And, and telling you exactly what's wrong with the machine at the component level. So we, we've combined a tremendous amount of data, live data that's gathered across multiple, multiple facilities, tens of thousands of machines across the US, 
North America and, and Europe as well. And we've developed anomaly detection algorithms that really identify behavior that's abnormal for that specific machine. So that models out specific machines. Then we trigger a second set of algorithms that compare that machine's unique signature to tens of thousands of other signatures in the database. Those are learning algorithms, and the models are already built, so that comes out of the box. Once we install, you know right away what's happening with your machines. And then we also have an additional layer of support and expert, expert verification by in-house reliability engineers, vibration analysts, and so forth. And so that allows us to provide really a high level of support to customers. So I mentioned the database is constantly growing, and really this is what allows us to provide, provide a very, very high level of accuracy and to have already built all the models. Here's a sampling um, of the common issues, common mechanical issues that are diagnosable out of the box for most common types of rotating equipment. So pumps, chillers, fans, compressors, extruders, uh, AC-DC motors, conveyors, and so forth. We also um, constantly add new types of machinery into the mix so that we are able to cover more and more industries. What does the operator really see on the ground? So I mentioned the insight has to be very simple for them to understand. So whether it's a mobile application integration into your ERP CMS system or it's through the web, you can see here that at the component level, there's a misalignment in the motor side. This is a pump. You can see the possible causes. These are the root causes. And then maintenance practices, meaning what to do about it. And the operator can actually go and fix the easiest to do to the hardest to do. And when they fix the easier thing, they can go back to the system and see if there's, the condition has actually improved. So they can constantly get feedback without having, having to go anywhere else. They see it right there in the system. There's also a view where you can compare. Now, so if you've deployed across hundreds of thousands of machines, multiple production lines, you can start comparing brands of machines. You can start comparing performance of maintenance practices one facility to the next, and this could be done in real time. You can see, let's say you have a thousand pieces of one type of pump or motor compared to another thousand pieces, and you can see real insights on what inventory you're holding that's probably redundant, or what other OEM should you engage next time. So one example, and I mentioned bottling and beverage, um, Early insights obviously save a lot of downtime. This was featured in the Wall Street Journal. So obviously a good success. Um, almost a million cans of beer, Budweiser. So, and, and this is Germany. It's not the local Budweiser. This is the American Budweiser. right? Um, but we have uh, multiple, multiple examples of this, not just for production uh, downtime savings, but also connecting downtime for production with operational insights so we can, we can actually tell under what specific operational conditions are machines starting to fail. And this is the impact that we like to see. And this is typically what happens, the impact of machine health. So this is a production line. You start with seeing about 30 to 40% of machines in some state of misrepair, so some condition. And this is across the industries, typically 30 to 40%. So if you're now an owner or leader in the manufacturing organization, I promise you that about 30% on average of your equipment has issues that you don't know about. So when, upon installation, this happens, that visibility creates urgent actions. And then all of a sudden, over a couple of weeks, if we and our partners, customers, or champions do our job right, the health of those machines improves dramatically. And then you have this period where you no longer have surprises. And then you get to a point where it's a new state of reliability. You look back versus day one and compare, and that's tremendous ROI. It's almost difficult to go back to the initial state. And so, of course, you see a gradual increase in OEE, looking backwards. As well as looking forwards, you start relying on the system to really provide you with that visibility into machine health, and then people start uh, adopting and really accepting machine health as a normal part of their operation and their daily lives. And so at scale, then you can start looking across different facilities that provides a single source of truth that drives business impact, as well as operational performance. So I'll pause here, okay, and uh, see if there's any questions. <laughs>